Hello friend, how are you? Welcome to Tripan Study Center. We are going to do, today is doing is very important topic here, MCQ. MCQ question for the class 8, science, chapter here, force and pressure for a CVSC NCRT text basis here. That's the most important MCQ which will, will be a very important for the exam point of view and it will be important for the this is a competitive exam also. Let's see what is our topic today. Today we discuss the most important chapter here, Force and Pressure, Class 8, CVSC and CRT, Science here. You know that this is the most important chapter, Force and Pressure, MCQ. This is the MCQ is the most important. Next question on your screen, question here. The force acted by the a charged body on another charged. The force exacted by a charged body on another charge. A. Gravitational force. B. Electrostatic force. C. Non-contact force. D. Contact force. Question is clear. But first of all you give the correct answer for this question. You know that you have choose the correct answer and that their notebook. Let's see what is the correct answer for this question. Question is clear here. The force extended by a charge body on another charge. The gravitational force. Nothing is gravitational force. A is option is wrong. A is a false. B electrostatic force. B electrostatic force. B is correct answer. B is correct answer. Electrostatic force here important. The force led by the charge body on another force. Electrostatic force. It means to the B option is correct. B option is correct. Electrostatic force. That's important. And let's see. Next question here. Next question on your screen. Question here. Force changes the force changes the a motion of body b speed of body c shape of body or d all of these question is clear force changes the you know that question is important for the exam view but first of all you give the correct answer for this question and the write the correct answer in your notebook you must have a thought your correct answer. Let's see what is the correct answer for this question here. Question is clear. Force changes the. Force changes the. The motion of body. That is correct here. Force changes the motion of the body. B. Speed of the body. That is also is important here. It means to the B option is correct here. And C, shape the body. Shape the body, it is also is correct answer. It means option D is correct. Option D is correct. All of this is correct answer. It means to D option is correct. All of this here, uh, force changes the uh, motion of the body, speed of the body and shape of the body. It means to the option D is correct. Option D, all of this is correct. Let's see next question here. Next question on your screen, the question here, the force exerted by our muscle is called. The force exerted by our muscle is called. A. Electrostatic force. B. Muscular force. C. Gravitational force. D. Non-contact force. Question is clear and very easy. But first of all, you give the correct answer for this question and write the correct answer for your notebook. You know that you thought the correct answer and write your notebook. Let's see what is the correct answer for this question here. Question is clear. The force exerted by our muscle is called. Our muscle is a force is called. You know that friend there is a clear answer. B muscular force. B is correct answer because muscle force is called muscular force. It means to the B option is correct. B option 
मस्कुलर फोर्स इज करेक्ट लेट सी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑन योर स्क्रीन क्वेश्चन ड्यूरिंग ड्राई वेदर ड्यूरिंग द ड्राई वेदर विल द कंबाइनिंग हेयर सम टाइम एक्सप्रेस हेयर फ्लाइंग अपार्ट द फोर्स रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन अंडरस्टैंड ड्यूरिंग द ड्राई वेदर ड्राई वेदर विल द कंबाइनिंग हेयर कंबाइनिंग हेयर सम टाइम बी एक्सप्रेस हेयर फ्लाइंग अपार्ट द फोर्स रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर दिस ए फोर्स ऑफ ग्रेविटी बी फोर्स ऑफ फ्रिक्शन सी इलेक्ट्रोस्टेटिक फोर्स डी मैग्नेटिक फोर्स यू नो दैट इज क्वेश्चन इज क्लियर क्वेश्चन इज क्लियर एंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द एग्जाम व्यू हेयर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू गिव द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन एंड राइट योर नोटबुक ओके यू मस्ट एवर राइट द नोटबुक इफ करेक्ट आंसर लेट सी वॉट इज द आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन इज क्लियर ड्यूरिंग अ ड्राई वेदर ड्यूरिंग ड्राई वेदर इट मीन टू ड्राई वेदर विल द कंबाइनिंग हेयर सम टाइम वी एक्सपीरियंस हेयर फ्लाइंग हेयर इज फ्लाइंग अपार्ट द फोर्स रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर दिस फोर्स ऑफ ग्रेविटी नो फोर्स ऑफ ग्रेविटी नथिंग सप्लाई हेयर फोर्स ऑफ फिक्शन फोर्स ऑफ फिक्शन इज नथिंग सप्लाई हेयर सी इलेक्ट्रिसिटी फोर्स सी इलेक्ट्रिसटेटिक फोर्स दैट इज द करेक्ट आंसर हेयर द हेयर फ्लाइंग अपार्ट इट मीन टू द हेयर फोर्स और रिस्पॉन्सिबल इलेक्ट्रोस्टेटिक फोर्स इट मीन टू ऑप्शन सी इज करेक्ट हेयर ऑप्शन सी इज करेक्ट इलेक्ट्रोस्टेटिक फोर्स सी इलेक्ट्रोस्टेटिक फोर्स इज करेक्ट आंसर लेट सी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हेयर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑन इन स्क्रीन क्वेश्चन हेयर Which one of the flowing force is contact force? Which one of flowing force is contact force? Force of gravity, magnetic force, force of frictions, D electrostatic force. That's the correct option here. But first of all, you choose the correct answer for this option. Okay? You must have a thought of your answer. Let's see. What is the answer for this question here? Question is clear here. Which one of the following forces is a contact force? Is a contact force the force of gravity? B magnetic force. B magnetic force. Nothing here. B magnetic force. Total force of gravity. And C force of friction. The force of friction. That's correct here. Flowing force, the contact force, is a force of friction. Force of friction is correct. Answer here for this question. It means to the option C is correct. Option C, force of friction. That is the correct answer. Let's see. Next question here. Next question on your screen. Question here. Which of the following is a proper example to explain the force on object? Maybe chain is a shape. Question is clear. Which of the following is a proper example to explain that a force on object may be changed its shape? A. A ball of duff rolling into the chapati. A ball of duff rolling into the chapati. B. Pressing a rubber ball kept on table. C. Making a model use a clay. C. All of the above. The question is clear. Which of the following a proper example to be explain the force on object may be changed shape? Question is clear. You know that first of all you choose the correct answer for this option. You must have a thought of your answer. Let's see what is the answer for this question. Question understand? Which of the following is a proper example to be explain that a force on object may be changed its shape? A ball of duff rolling in a chapati. Chapati? That's the correct answer. A rolling of dog in the rolling chapati. That's mean to the change of shape. It means to A option is correct. B. Pressing a rubber ball keep on the table. Rubber ball, there is a circle shape. But you press, there is the change of shape. It means to the B option is also correct here. And see, making a model of clay. Clay is a simply 
there is a note of shape and you give the shape it mean to the change the shape it mean to the c option is also correct here it mean to the option d is correct option d is correct all of this here okay all of these here ch example of change of shape it mean to the d option is correct d option is correct let's see next question here next question on your screen question here a ball rolling on the ground slowly down and finally stop a ball rolling off ground slowly down and finally stop this is because of why the ball is stop a force b less force applied c friction d none of the above question is clear here question is direct but first of all you choose the correct answer for this option you know that you have a thought of your answer and write also for your notebook let's see check the correct answer for this question question is clear a ball rolling on the ground slow down and finally stop why the stop is ball here there a force nothing is a force applied force applied is the ball is moving it went to a option is a totally wrong b less force applied nothing is the right answer here this is a wrong answer less force is nothing is a b option is a wrong c friction friction that's the right answer friction is the ball rolling on the ground slowly down then find stop because it is applied to the friction here force friction c option is correct option c is correct c is a friction is correct this answer that's important here let's see next question next question on your screen question here force of friction force of friction of a act on moving objects and it's a direction shall be direction shall be a one any direction b along the direction of motion c perpendicular to the direction of the motion d opposite to the direction of the motion question is clear force of friction always act on moving object and its direction shall be you must have a thought of your answer correct answer write your notebook okay you have write the correct answer of your notebook let's see what is the answer for this question question is clear force of friction away act on a moving object and it is a direction shall be one a one any direction a one any direction is nothing is correct answer b along the direction of the motion no it is not a correct answer b perpendicular to the direction of the motion yes it is a correct answer perpendicular to the direction of the motion that's the correct answer the force friction of a act on moving object and its direction shall be a perpendicular to the direction of the motion it means to the option c is correct option c is correct for this question let's see next question here next question on your screen question is here if in a tug of war when two teams are pulling a rope and the rope does not be moved toward any team it is impulse that there is a tug or war there is a game okay it is a game two teams is here participation in this game they are pull pulling the rope pulling the rope but here question the rope does not be move or to about any team it mean to the imply that equal force begin applied to the same direction equal force is begin applied to the opposite direction see no force applied in the direction d cannot be explained that's the correct answer but first of all you choose the correct answer and write your notebook firstly okay you must have a write the correct answer with the notebook let's see what is the correct answer for this question question understand okay
if the tug of o bar when the two team is pulling a rope and the rope does not be move toward any team it impulse that impulse that equal force began to apply in the same direction no same direction is wrong but equal force began to apply that's right but in the same direction no same direction is nothing here same direction it mean to the a uh, move to avoid the team but he has a note move to avoid in the t any team equal force begin applied equal force begin applied in opposite direction opposite direction matlab means a and b it mean to the both team is the opposite direction is applied to force it mean to option b is correct option b is correct equal force is begin applied in the opposite direction the b option is correct for this question let's see last question here you know that the last question i have on your screen question here muscular force is also called the muscular force is also called muscular force also called dash force dash for the muscular force is non contact force b contact force c gravitation force d magnetic force first of all you choose the correct answer for this question you must have a correct answer choose of and write your notebook let's see what is the question answer for this question question is clear muscular force is also called for non contact force that's nothing is the b option is correct muscular force is also called contact force option is b is correct contact force that's important is the contact force here this topic was till this we will be do there are next topic in the next part if you like it then please like share subscribe and share the video as a much as a possible do not things subscribe and save in your mobile thank you